That is very good. That's what we need to be doing. We have a problem. What's the solution? And my solution was always before me. I just go no, but I made an excuse for that solution. See, sometimes when a solution is presented to us, we go on. So I know I'll think of another solution, and the solution is going. I'm here. I'm here. I'm going to make your life easy. In, in, for those who who have that kind of. You say a gift, the ability yeah. to release something, yeah. and and you, you find yourself that the only way that it seems to be more effective is when you're sitting with people who are soaking up your information. That's right. Because ah, mm. then you found you found what you're really good at. That's you know, right. and, and someone, oh, really? I didn't realize that because do I do when I talk, people just lean in. They lean into my counsel. They're like, that's yeah, because right. that, that's your gift. Counsel. In a, in a man is like deep wells. That's right. But it takes a man of understanding to draw it out. That's right. You know. Yeah. And and counsel in me is like deep wells. Mm. But understanding from those who are hearing will draw it out. That's yeah. that's right. And every time you problem solve, you elevate. Mm. Every time you solve a problem, you overcome the issue that's right. that was holding you back at this level. That's right. And when you overcome, you're like, oh, I can progress for. It's, it's almost like a computer game, you know, yes. level one. Oh, I passed that level now. Yeah, I'm level. at the next level. Yeah. Level two presents new challenges That's now. Right. And I overcome the challenges of ne- level two, That's which right. are different from level one, a little bit harder. But because I handled level one, I'm at level two. And yeah. now I pass level two, I can go level three in the same way. You try this a little bit here, you try a little bit there. Like I, I was with, really, you know, I did IT, I did telecommunications, and then I did media, and I'm and doing art and graphics and graphics design and do business cards. You know, there's these little things and the videos, and you start to think the reason for why you did all of those things. Because eventually, they're going to be the very skills that prepare you for the current job or current situation that a person in. It's not their permanent location. It's no, not their it's permanent not. address. It's, it's not. only a, a pit stop. It's only, a, you say, uh, they're going through mm. the learning process. Mm. So they're stopping at an institution of learning. Let's call it right. that. Mm. Your current situation is an institution of learning yeah. where you've grasped something from that because yeah. somewhere in the future, the thing you learned is going to be applicable to that yes. situation. And it's going to help someone else. Like, oh, I didn't realize that yeah. me uh, learning how to me learning how to edit and uh, do videos and, you know, cre- those little things, that those little knowledge you gain, they eventually become useful. I think of a passage in the Bible where Moses was now given the instruction to build the tabernacle. And he then called for the Israelites to give gold and whatever materials that was needed to start the work of constructing, con- constructing this tabernacle. Then there's the name of a person, I forget his name, but uh, we'll put the scripture up. But this guy apparently was doing that work while he was probably in Egypt. He was the sculptor. He was the person uh, doing those really crafty designs. And he was able to build things. He was gifted in his hands. Moses said, he's a man with the spirit of God in him. He has the wisdom to build these things. Why did Moses call him then? Because he was qualified. All that learning that he did now found its real purpose. He was going to build this, mm-hmm. help build this magnific- magnificent tabernacle for the Lord to come and abide. Mm-hmm. So all those skills that we're acquiring in life eventually find their true purpose, their true, true reason, their true voice in what's our main Trust our main purpose. We come into it and we're like, oh, yeah, now I'm doing this thing. Oh, yeah, I need that thing I learned from this 10 years ago or five years ago I was doing this thing. Yeah, I need that lesson, you know, and some of those lessons become ingrained like, oh, yeah. And when you're problem solving, you, you lean back on the resources you have acquired, the skills, the knowledge you have acquired, you know, when you're problem solving, oh, yeah. How did I solve that last time? Oh yeah, that's a slightly different one. I can use this level of this knowledge to come to that answer. You know, problem solving. And you hear people say next level, next level, next level. Ah, we're going to the next level. But what people don't understand is every next level, to get to every next level requires a certain type of knowledge that promotes you to that level. You know, you can't claim to be in a level 
without the knowledge that graduated you to that level. You know, the knowledge that promoted you to that level. You can't say you're at a level if you don't have any credentials, the credential, the knowledge that reveals, that speaks for you. That when you're standing at that level, you get, oh yeah, people can say, oh yeah, true. He's a person at that level. Why? Because he, he acquired that knowledge that promoted him to that level. Oh yeah, I'm going to the next level. Okay, what's the knowledge you're going to apply that's going to take you to that level? Knowledge, that knowledge also too that you apply is progressive in nature. Mm. Meaning, learning this one thing mm. leads, opens up to the next thing that you need to problem solve, learn, mm. overcome, get to the next level. So, um, with, with every new knowledge you acquire, acquire a new door is presented to you. Eventually that new door leads you to the next level, you know. A new door, then a new door, then a new door, then the next level. So, um, you, hear, you hear people say, success leaves clues. Anyone who follows those clues will get to that outcome. So, meaning you, you follow the, the blueprint of success. Okay, yeah, blueprint of success, what does that look like? So success leaves clues to me as I've been doing it recently is I ask a question and my questions become the questioning. My curiosity becomes the tool that identifies my necessity for that knowledge. Mm -hmm. You follow? Mm -hmm. and, and it's like, okay, I'm learning this, but he's not really telling me what I want. You, you stumble on videos like she's not really telling me what I want. No, yeah, yeah, not quite. Because now you're trying to be, you're refining and fine tuning yourself to the process of the knowledge that you really need. Mm -hmm. And somewhere along one of those people that you're listening to on YouTube or Facebook, mm -hmm. you know, the experts on the subject and you're listening to them, one of them is going to drop the thing mm -hmm. that's just for you. Like, oh, that's the thing I need. Because that thing is specific to the question you asked, mm -hmm. you know. The result you're looking for is, is in line with the question you've asked. So then coming back to us as individuals, do we have questions to start with? And we have to then, if we don't, we have to start creating questions because questions are the thing that are going to m create the momentum. And the questions are the thing that are going to allow us to identify what we lack, that we need to gain. It's going to identify that, oh yeah, I don't really know that. How do I get that? Good question. Okay, then I become, then you then put your focus in the direction. You're only going to look in the direction. You're only going to see things before you in the direction you're looking at. You're never going to see them if you're looking in the other direction. If my investment and prosperity is that way and I'm looking that way, I'll never see a clue that leads me to the next door. See, what people... You, you got to think of success as clues, those little increments. Those, those clues, they only come by you asking the question. The question is the thing that leads to the clue. It's like a treasure hunt, you know. You see the, the X marks the spot, and that's the treasure, and you have to follow the map. Well, that's the journey we're all on. There's already knowledge, there's resources. And you don't need all that knowledge and resources. You just need the specific knowledge that will lead you to the specific outcome. Mm. That's what being intentional is. And being intentional, intentional then means asking the right question. Mm. A set of questions. You have to have more than one question because gaining this one thing. Do you get to the point that you start to, re, to, to ask the question and you're looking for the knowledge then? You actually realize that you're doing research. Oh, I don't really like research. Well, guess what? It's, it's an essential, it's a necessity for the next age. Because like I said, the level up here requires knowledge. And knowledge is research. Knowledge is pursuing the question inside of you that will set you free from where you're at to come to the answer you need to get. And when you come to the answer you need to get, you go, ah, I got it. Now, yesterday's question is today's solution because you took the journey to discover what that answer was. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's good. You class it success. What do I... What is your thought on success? What is success to you? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, what is success, success to me? To the, the, the success mm. 
to many, success is, is defined differently. Everyone defines success differently. So success is not the same thing to me as it is to someone else. So this is the thing too. Their definition of success can be a trap. It can stop them where they're at. They can settle with that level and call that their success. You know? But there's, there's something on the inside of uh, uh, certain individuals, like myself, there's a certain thing about um, when we say success leaves trails, That success also, if there's already someone who's already modeling it for you, mm. and you might see success in life of different areas, industries, you know, whatever it is. It could be in the e-commerce, it could be running a, a local store, whatever that success is to you. Oh, I want to be a successful entrepreneur. I want to be a successful entrepreneur. Okay, what type of entrepreneur? Is it uh, in fashion designing or uh, is it in selling a particular type of merchandise and you want to brand it or is it in music industry or video production? What's your genre? And when you come, life as a way of, life being like a catalog presents itself to you. And you go through the journey of life, you're scanning through that catalog like a YouTube uh, catalog, all the scrolling down through all these videos, like all these Facebook videos, like all these TikTok videos. Life is presenting itself like that to you. But then something somewhere along the way catches your attention. And when it catches your attention, probably because something in you resonates with it. Something in you is giving you an indicator, that clue I was referring to, that this could be that pathway to your success. And then, and then there's this part of you that there's a certain part of you that knows, that it knows, that it knows that truly you are there, but there's something missing and you seem not to figure out what's missing because you know that's supposed to be you, but everything between that and you is missing. This is that journey where you go through the process of learning, process of researching and discovering till you come to that outcome. And so many people, you know, oh, I don't like reading. Well, you have to build, a, you have to build a, 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 a yes mindset for it, a yes attitude for, to fill that gap. So success for me, it starts out as a journey. Success is a journey. And I think that as soon as you're born, you started that journey of success. Some people can define success as happiness. Well, that might be their level of success that they want. Mm -hmm. Happiness can come in all forms, rich or poor. Is that what success really means to the general population? Is that happiness sustainable forever and ever if it started? Or is it happiness temporarily and sadness tomorrow and happiness again, like, like a changing weather? What is success to you? So I think that question has to be asked by every person who's, who's wanting success, wealth. If we, if we become honest with what success is to us, it might be wealth, it might be abundance, it might be getting this promotion or achieving this certain level of uh, objective, you know, being a very, uh, going up from minor league to major league or something like that. You go through that journey because success in your mind is an outcome. Success in your mind is an outcome, but an outcome that you want. That's your success. That's the thing you're pursuing. And that's why it will be different for someone else's definition of it, because they're pursuing a different outcome. You know, if I look across the, across the board and say, oh, that person's really successful, I, I'm, I might be judging him from a world view, right? But to that person internally, they truly, truly know what their success is, right? I think also that the journey of success builds with it the correct crowd of your tribe. You know, I started to understand that uh, the more deliberate and the more refined you become, you also begin to attract the type of people that will support that growth level. You know, there was a certain level of people that they're here. They, if they stay with you through all the way through the top, then they were meant for your, you. They were your tribe all along from the beginning, from the get-go. Some of them then progress along 
life changes and they move on to do something else. New people come, take the place because maybe your progress level has gone up. You know, you're, you're pursuing something more than that. And, and success being, being an outcome, being a uh, uh, pursued intent in a person's life then comes back to, okay, it's their end state. You have to start from the end and look back to, right back to the current day. If my success is 10 years from now as a projected, projected plan, I go stand 10 years from there and look at how I feel about it and then look back, how did I get there? And as I look back from there, I see all the clues laid out. I see, oh yeah, I need that. Oh, I need to train in that area. Oh, I need to get that skill. Oh, I need this equipment. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's how you start to think. But that's how you look at it. You look at, from the, look at the beginning from the end. Yeah, you look at the beginning from the end. Success for many people is always measured, whether they, whether, whether they like it or not, it's always comparable to someone else's success. Mm. That's a good thing, you know, mm. because if I want to measure the level of my growth, I have to measure it by those who are at a certain level that I'm pursuing. Mm. There's already examples for you in your industry. You follow? Mm. What is the level of pursuit then for you? Mm. Is it right up to where they are? Is it going past where they are? Mm. You know, or is it just below where they are? You decide that. And, and you might say, no, I, I definitely want to go past them. Okay, but then you have to build the certain level of talent and skill and knowledge to, to, and, and, and an attitude for that success, you know. Uh, rich people think differently from poor people. Their mindsets are different. When you uh, spend, say you spend a whole day with a rich person, the way he or she lives their life, operates their life is completely different. The way they talk, everything's different. Leave, your say, leave another day with a poor person, their life will be completely different. Come away from those two experiences and decide. You obviously lean quickly towards the, the mindset of the man who's got wealth, a woman who's got wealth, or who understands what the principle of abundance is. Ah. And so I think that it's a lie to say, oh, I'm all right, I have enough. I think that that, that lie for, I'm only calling it a lie because there are certain, people, certain individuals who that thought is not in them. That's not their level of success. But they're hearing that bad advice from someone else who has settled for that. That's their level of success. But for you, if that's not in you, don't accept that thought. You're going to know, this is where I need to go. But I know that I can't get there until I do some work. I have to do some groundwork. I have to work on me to get there. Mm. You know, mm. every day presents us new challenges new problems to solve, right? But also new victories and new opportunities. So therefore, as we go through every day, a little bit of us improves. You have to take joy in every little success. You have to use those little achievements to drive you. Look at them as rewards that inspire you to keep going. You know, those little things that you're doing well. You know, and, and build a group of people around you that can speak into your life and, and uh, uh, praise you, you know, and, and walk with you. And, and in a way, they might throw some of their ideas that might say, oh, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. You need that too because maybe you're just going, 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 and you don't realize that you've gone too, too far right. Mm -hmm. And you might need to come a little bit left. So that person who's journeying the journey, journey honestly with you might go, oh, you've gone a bit too far right. Just come back to them. You know, they're not trying to stop you. They're just trying to allow you to make sure you're still going forward. You know, there, there are people who actually don't want you to progress at all. So everything they say is opposite to where you're going. Then you know that those are the people that are not for your progress. Usually, internally, you would not want to tell them things that uh, represent your progress because all they're going to do is talk about the opposite stuff relating to that progress. Yeah. I think, I think for most of them, it's that knowledge gap or it's the trust issue because when you, when you don't understand something, you've got to try to fill it with something else. So for them, they might fill it with a, a false sense of security. Oh, don't do that. It's going to end up with this. You know, just try. But if you, if you are one who's a risk taker, and I'm talking about not just reckless risk taking, mm -hmm. 
like we took, did the example earlier about um, don't take your rental bill and, and throw it into that investment, you know, save up gradually to that investment and then invest into it. Success is what you achieve, not just necessarily on a day-to-day -day basis, but with every question you ask and you fulfill it, an outcome you've achieved. That's success. Oh, I've taken this step today. Wow. What's okay, my next step. So you're watching every step intentionally because you know that eventually that step has to lead to the outcome that you have in your mind, the end, end state. And when you get there, now you're presented with a whole new realm, a whole new thinking, a whole new uh, set of uh, realities, a whole new set of problems maybe. Problems that, when I mean problems, like the story of uh, Jesus telling Peter to cast his net out on the other side of the boat comes to mind. He, the initial part of the story, Peter's problem was a lack of fish. So when Jesus came and gave him the word, he had to honor the word. Wisdom, I think the principal thing. Um, understanding, honoring the principal thing. So he, he had to honor the divine word and his, his faith had to align in obedience, in honoring that word. He lacked fish, that was his first problem. He had to solve the problem of that lack. So his obedience in following in through with the instruction, pushing the boat out and casting his net was the instruction he had to carry out. Now the fish come and fill the net. They fill the net to the point that he has now too much fish that his net's about to break. So then now he's presented with a new problem. It's a good problem. It's a good new, it's a new problem, but it's a good problem to have. And you would rather, which problem would you have? A lack of fish or an abundance of fish? <clears throat> I think everyone would settle with the abundance of fish. So I, I think that um, in our mindsets, when we're thinking of problems, they never live our life. They just change natures. They just change in, in a sense. They become new assignments, new problems to solve, new ways of, oh, okay, yeah, I've achieved that now. So now i am got to focus on this now. He had a new problem. So his new problem was, I need the other people from the other boats to come and help me to get this fish so that the nets don't break. So they bring their nets. So then your problem becomes a, a, a uh, thing of managing your resources and allowing it to be outsourced or, or spread out and you're now helping other people and you see wealth wealthy people or people who are up there billionaires millionaires successful people you, they tend to do youtube videos of their success why are they doing that because they come now to a place where they've solved up there most of their problems they've presented now with new problems and they're looking around and go oh i need to help to help my community, I need to help my family. And so they take that knowledge again and they translate it back to the people. You know, some of them, of course, still use it as a business tool to continue income. You know, we can't blame them for that. That's, they learned the knowledge. They acquired that knowledge to get to that level. They know how to create money now because they've gone through the process of doing that. You know, so we say money working for you. Everyone hears, oh yeah, passive income, money working for you. You go on the streets now, people talk about passive income. Oh yeah, passive income, money working for you. They, they, they've heard it so much, but in application, what does that look like? So you have to find your own application that leads to your success.